Well, that was that was marvelous from my perspective, but I don't know how how <laughs> tortuous it was for you. Any uh, any comments? I'm very impressed that Ben Harris managed to stay on top of the measures as much as he did. I didn't mind it. <sighs> All right. Once when I was little, I was uh, during violin. I would do Suzuki, so we'd have violin concerts like every year, you know, six months or so. And I was maybe like seven or something, I was playing the violin. 
and you know they're like group concerts so everyone sort of gets up there and plays and i just didn't want to get off the stage but they were playing like more advanced pieces than i i was playing it sort of felt like this like i was trying to listen to what they were playing <laughs> and pretend to play what they were playing and uh try to try to you know i was always like a little bit behind or a little bit ahead or something <laughs> Bravo, bravo, bravo. <laughs> so, how was it? I like how when the when yeah. DVD froze, the, the screen started going this way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you're pushing against a wall for too long. And <laughs> yeah, that's an artifact that I unfortunately did not create myself. That's... Stand still. <laughs> 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 you're messing with it. You're messing with me, aren't you? <laughs> you can tell Amy we started hallucinating too. <laughs> Maybe one more time through and I'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll probably just do one more rehearsal and then we'll try to uh, what, perform when it we, someplace. When we perform this, yeah. let's not do an entire run rehearsal before we play it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. No, when you perform it, you'll just be doing the interpretive dancing part. That's it. No, I know. It's just, it's, it's, it's exhausting. One time through is is fairly exhausting. The yeah. second time through, it really is begins to be hallucinatory. <laughs> but you, um, but I can tell that you you have some of it sort of memorized, don't you? Like in the first thirty measures or so. Not memorized, but I recognized mm -hmm. a few phrases. Because some of those things, when you're doing the bass clef stuff, yeah, you know, it's almost like you you're almost familiar with it enough so that you feel kind of comfortable with the flow of it sometimes. Well, I, I could see enough of it sometimes that I could actually see a phrase there. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I was trying to do the forward and backward thing. I did that a couple times, actually. Did you? Uh, several times I read it here. Yeah. One time I tried to read it on the right marker uh -huh. yeah and that's really hard to do it is yeah. <laughs> it's hard it's hard enough to do it over here but to anticipate it a little bit you have mm -hmm. that much less time to actually realize something's right. coming i don't know I, I think it sounds good i'm i'm happy with it uh i mean any comments are appreciated i, I realize it's difficult but at the same time i think it's probably an interesting process right i mean have you, you've never had to look at a score like that before right nobody's ever actually, had uh, I have. So, have you? I have really? Yeah. I, I Is it moving I scores like that? that? Okay, we can have the house like that. <laughs> thank you very much. All right, thank you everyone. I know it's very hot and that that was grueling, but it was way more grueling for the musicians than it was for you. So I hope you understand just how grueling it was for them. And they did a wonderful job despite the extreme difficulty of even seeing the damn projection, which was pretty low fidelity, et cetera, et cetera. But they still did a wonderful job and I want to thank them again very much. Kenny Haney, Roger Dannenberg, Ben Opie, Ben Harris, and Karen. Live and good.